using Grace, you know, the first pass of Toy Story. Amazing! Grace is... Another first pass of Toy Story. Yay! Yay! Amazing! Grace is... Another first pass of Toy Story. Yay! Yay! Hello, what's up guys? My name is Percy and I'm the Guinness World Record holder for the largest collection of fast food toys. Yeah, baby! Okay, I'm here once again to tell you another amazing and stupendous and awe-inspiring Percy story story because today is not necessarily a fast food toy but an awesome toy nevertheless. So, what I'm talking about is this particular toy from... Dun, 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 the bear in the big blue house. Wow, this is so awesome. Wonderful, wonderful toy. This particular toy was actually distributed by Mattel way back in 2002, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, it had a lot... Uh, the show, the bear in the big blue house, had a long run in the Disney Channel. I think, um, yeah, I've seen it a couple of times and... Um, I don't know why why they have to stop uh, certain shows, especially if they're really popular and they have a quite following. And then all of a sudden, the producers will stop for the whole. Like for example, there are certain shows in the Disney Channel. There are also shows in the Cartoon Network that somehow have been halted, even sometimes at the height of their own popularity, of their popularity. Like uh, uh, what's that? Cow and Chicken, Dexter Laboratory. Uh, we're in the big blue house uh, from among the lines and yeah that's also uh, quite a good show that uh, I personally have watched anyway I don't know uh, I think uh, they sometimes do that just to pave the way for newer shows to actually be shown in this channel as well anyway it's a good thing that we have uh, YouTube sometimes I tend to get some retrospective viewing of some of these characters and some of these shows. Uh, yeah, it gives you uh, some sense of nostalgia every time you do indulge into looking at old shows such as The Bear in the Big Blue House. Okay, so this toy has The Bear in the Big Blue House in this particular radio. <laughs> looks like a radio and it has some receptacles here to put some batteries so apparently this particular toy would actually work as a radio and it has some buttons here you push this and then it would probably play music or the sounds of bear from the bear in the big blue house and then these buttons can also be pushed for other sounds and on both sides we have the two purple otter twins, <laughs> these are otter, who lives in the pond of uh, where the house of the bear in the big blue house lo is located. Okay, so these are very mischievous uh, otters. They're actually twins and they're called Pip and Bob. So this is pretty amazing. And apparently, both of these twin purple otters are very talented they're actually holding the microphone and singing along with the music over at this radio wow this is so great and for those of you who might have seen the twin otters in the shows you would have heard you must have heard how they sing so harmoniously and how they probably blended together as they sing as they sing their songs Oh, wow, this is great. Look at the toy. Isn't this great? Back in the days when Mattel is producing a lot of wonderful, wonderful toys, it, it's so sturdy, it's so great, and it, it is meticulously done with all the details. Wow, this is so good. <laughs> well, apparently the bear uh, in the big blue house is actually holding two drumsticks. Not the drumstick that we can eat, but it's a drumstick that can play the drums. So he's doing the drumming and the instrumentation for the twin otters to actually sing with. Okay. He's providing the accompaniment for the sing-along or the karaoke as they <laughs> would call it in Japanese. Well, nowadays it was 
anglicized so everybody will know that when you say karaoke <laughs> you would uh, inevitably or indubitably know that it's actually singing along with the this karaoke, the sing along. It's not a karaoke. Oh, it looks like a karaoke. It's an exclusive Bear in the Big Blue House karaoke machine. <laughs> okay, now I must say, this is just an amazing grace. So, once again, guys, so let's try to be thankful uh, for all the amazing grace to come to our lives, really in the form of this karaoke or singing uh, twin uh, purple otters. Tip and pop with the bear in the big blue house. On the bear in the big blue house. <laughs> okay, the wonderful toy and a great addition to Percy's fast food, uh, Percy's toy collection. And also be thankful for shows like uh, yeah, the bear in the big blue house. It's a wonderful children's show. It's uh, a great show. It shows compassion to other animals. Yeah, the big bear, this big bear really has a big heart and a really, uh, yeah, really big heart with a big compassion. It shows a lot of values and, uh, yeah, teaches us uh, certain values that we might have forgotten somewhere along the way, especially when we're growing up, about the importance of cooperation, the importance of compassion and love, especially for the the smaller creatures in this world okay or basically guys let's be thankful for every amazing grace be they small or big be they seemingly insignificant or the truly eventful ones or just about every amazing grace that make our lives a lot more happy and jolly <laughs> and thank you guys for all the tuning in to Persons Fast to us and I hope to see you again with our next one so until then bye bye see you around here at Pip and Pop Woo!